Yo, what up fam, it's your boy Vusi Max back at it with another one for you guys Listen man, I know I haven't dropped in like two days, three days or something I don't know, I only dropped the analysis video this week So listen, I have another market breakdown for you guys today I feel like I owe you guys at least that much Because you guys, I told you, listen, if y'all subscribe, y'all like the videos, comment I'll do, I'll do the rest, you know what I'm saying So you guys did all of the above You subscribe, you like the video you commented on my videos and if you're new to the channel come on subscribe 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 like the video leave a comment and click the bell notification icon so you get notified every time the boy make the boy makes a new drop you understand what i'm saying so hey man listen man i know i haven't dropped videos this week like i was saying when this video just started but today i have a market breakdown for you guys this is not a watch list right this is not a watch list this is a market breakdown so i'm focusing more on the psychology right i'm focusing more on the psychological part of opening these trades what what triggers do you like should you go for what should you look out for and how should you know if this is really the trade that you should even be opening you understand what i'm saying i'm in the car right now it's hot as fuck but listen i'm gonna do what it takes to give you guys the content that you guys deserve all right man so say man before i even take more of your time Let's go right into it. Alright fam, so the first chart that we're gonna look at is the USD CAD, the USD CAD on a daily time frame. So the first things first, the first thing you're gonna be able to see here when you look at this chart is you're gonna see we have this support level that I highlighted there it was turned to support also resistance because it retested there then it was resistance again right so that's the major pivot point or support and resistance zone that we have and then what i want you to do with the usd kit also is you're gonna draw a trend line. you're gonna look at the low which is the the lowest low and then there's a higher low basically you're gonna draw a trend line join it anywhere on the candlestick wicks the, the the lowest candlestick weights that you can see there you're gonna join it with them then you're gonna have this nice trend line that we have here right so after that you're gonna go to the h4 so now when you go to the h4 you're gonna see that basically we also have a zone here right we have a resistance zone here it was resistance again and then it was also resistance again so when we move further here it's also a support turn resistance again and then now the price is basically back there right so now now that we have these two zones it means that if the price breaks through this zone then we can look forward to the price making it to the second zone you understand what i'm saying so now this trend this trend line that i drew the red one i drew it because there's correlation here with the low that we have here and this high and this lower high also right so the plan was i was gonna look at this in the h1 time frame as it's more clearer on the h1 time frame and i was gonna wait for a rejection there and then sell but obviously as you can see we kind of broke out of there and the candlestick that did break out of here is showing a lot of momentum so what does this mean right what does this mean what does this mean for me what am i gonna do now so you know like the 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 only thing that I only advise about the market is you need to be proactive, not reactive. Only act according to what the market is showing you. Don't try to uh, predict and do all these extra things or whatever. So what it is now, because it closed bullish, it's highly unlikely that this we're going to come back and retest here. So what I'm going to do is, even if I decide to buy, I think I'm going to buy small. But first, I need to go back to the H1 time frame so I can really see what's up. I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wait for the next candlestick, the next uh, H4 candlestick to close. going to wait for the next H4 candlestick to close. That's going to close above this resistance zone, which is now resistance here. Because listen, the next candlestick might, if I decide to buy now, the next candlestick might give me a long ass candlestick wick and come back below the zone. That would be an epic fail so you need to wait for that and all my vip members are going to get the signal obviously so let's go to the next pay i from so the next pay that we have in the mix is the euro usd on the h4 time frame you already know what it is man so 
with the euro usd before i start discussing the trend line situation that's going on here i think i should first discuss this two resistance and support zones that i have here so for you to figure that out you need to go to the daily so as you go to the daily you're gonna see that listen man i think i drew this on the h4 time frame but i'm just gonna show you first not the daily time frame it's fine either way so the situation that we have here now is you see on the daily time frame there's a low day right but damn it's not even visible let's just go to the h4 because we can't we can't carry on like this guys all right so this is what i'm telling you guys about right you see on the daily time frame you can the support and resistance this the resistance zone first of all i got it on the 6th of august right that high so i joined it with the with this high that's there let me just show you here fam you see this there's a high here so it's one two and we retested it here three four right so that's the high that you're gonna think that's the resistance that you're gonna think then we have support so our support we started drawing it on the 21st of august so it's one two three right so the and then now we move to the current price so with the current price you see that the support zone has been still intact it's affected the price here the price also reacted to it here also here and there so listen this is just confirmation that the levels we're using are accurate and are the right levels that we should be paying attention to so now we have this zone that we have this zone which was around the 10th of september right so now when we move to the current price you can see that even here the price did re react and rejected that zone there so we're using uh levels that we are supposed to be using right so now when you look at where the price is at now you see this low which was on the 25th of september on the h4 time frame you're gonna go to the low there you're gonna join it with the low that that was around the 16th of october right so when you align the the trend line with the current price right when you align the thing with the current price then you end up having this trend line that we have here and then these red lines are just reversal lines for to show me every time the market makes a breakout so i can enter upon that breakout or whatever you understand so now we have the reversal line here we haven't crossed it obviously but if we reject the reversal line it doesn't mean that just because no no i'm not talking about the reversal line if the price rejects to break below the trend line it doesn't mean that i shouldn't buy because the, the candlestick haven't crossed or broken my reversal line just like here we got a rejection here it you should have bought if you saw it there other than waiting for the breakout there you should have bought and they say when it breaks out again there you can add another position because you know it's confirmed it's a double confirmation thing so i'm gonna get the first confirmation here and buy and then when once you get the second confirmation there that's when i'm gonna buy and then some are gonna move the sl from there to the second position and then we're gonna close or secure somewhere there right so i'm talking about if the price rejects here i'm not saying that's what the price is gonna do listen we don't predict we react to the price the sooner you you internalize this principle that i'm telling you the more you're gonna see your trading improving gradually on a daily basis and also over time right so let's go to the next pay iphone so on the next pay i have the gbp aud for y'all on the h4 time frame so the gbp usd you're gonna look at the low that was on the 14th of september around the no it was actually the 11th of september that candlestick the lowest candlestick on that date you're gonna draw the trend line at the end of the candlestick week right and then you're gonna align it with the with the trend the way the trend is going so when it gets here it's actually gonna join with this candlestick that was on the 14th 15th of october that low right then now we have our nice uptrend there so our uptrend we also have a resistance zone right so this zone as you can see that's highlighted here this one that's highlighted here it was just one of my supreme vip members i'm gonna reply to you guys wait wait i'm still patching up this analysis video then i'm gonna be with my members out there all right so let's continue with this one so we have this resistance zone here the price also tested there so it's one two three four right 
and then now with our reversal line like i said we had the breakout there so there was a signal to buy and overall the price did go up so now we've been reversing against the trend because we haven't been going with the trend we've been going down and this is an uptrend reversing against the trend you understand so now the only thing that must can happen here is either i buy because yeah? listen here we have our trend line and then we have our support zone it's either i buy when the price rejects the both the support and the trend line then i'm gonna buy right but otherwise the other reason that i'm gonna buy is if we do break out of the reversal line without going down there but if we go down there then that means it's more it's more pips for me to make profit you understand so i'm only gonna buy if we cross this reversal line or if you actually go down continue to go down and then reject which is also going to be a retesting zone for this uh, it was previously as resistance and support here and then it's also going to be a support it's going to be a retest so unless i get a rejection here i'm going to buy and also if i get my plan b is if i get a a breakout here i'm going to buy also talking about a selling i'm also i'm only going to sell this pay if you do get a break below and i'll come back to retest this structure here which is the support but it's going to be turned to resistance if you come and retest that's the only time i'm gonna sell this one right so let's go to the next pay ifm so the c we have the chf jpy as the second last pay of the day so this with the chf jpy what you want to do you want to just draw this trend line here you want to draw this trend line here from the low that was on the 18th of june 19th around day there's a low there you want to draw your trend line join it with the higher low that was on the 25th of september and then align the trend line to the current price obviously then now you're gonna see there's also a trend line at the top right so the trend line at the top is a downtrend to get the downtrend line you have to join it from the 12th of august join it with the previous lows with, no with join join that high with the lower highs that are coming through every time the, the market makes a new high it's been getting lower and lower and lower all right so what does this mean we have an uptrend and a downtrend at the same time it only means that the price is either going to break down to the downside or break out to the upside right because with this kind of setups if you go to such website as baby peeps and all that they'll tell you that if it breaks out they'll tell you that because the lower line they tell you something like because the trend line at the bottom is longer than the one at the top then it's going to break out to the downside or others will tell you because the the one at the top is shorter than the one at the bottom is going to break out to the upside don't listen to any of that nonsense you understand the setup that we have here is only there to show us when the price decides to break out to so wherever it's going to break out we don't know where it's going to break out otherwise if everything these people have been saying then everybody will be rich trading forex right so yeah don't predict it's the moral of the story react to what the thing don't react i mean just take what the market is showing you and then make a decision based off of that just because the market is doing all of this don't try to predict and because when you react now your emotions are there we want to make logic based decisions you feel me so now that we have this 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 structure that we have here which is a uh, basically the market is moving sideways you understand because from the first of june until now the market basically has been moving sideways we're back to where we was three months ago you understand so that tells us we're not going up we ain't going down but something is about to happen soon so what i'm looking forward to happening now with this one i'm not going to go into lower time frames or whatever because we're not opening a trade anyways now so you want to draw this support a uh, resistance zone which is also resistance here and support and support here you want to draw this zone just so it's there you understand because i think we might reject and actually go back to the main trend line but it's going to depend on today's daily close you feel me so just have this zone as a standby thing and then also if we go to the h4 time frame which i said i wasn't gonna do but fine there was an opportunity to sell there i missed it listen i don't know what happened but i missed this one but it's fine so now we're back at the at the trend line no at the support zone right either we're gonna push down and reject that's when i'm gonna buy if i see a rejection at the bottom that's when i'm gonna 
by you understand what i'm saying but if you don't see if you don't see that and we actually push to the downside that's gonna mean that's the breakout we've been waiting for but i feel like there's so much space for 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 more sideways movement so i'm only waiting to see what's gonna happen down there and only after getting a rejection the perfect situation would be to buy after getting a rejection of the bottom trend line all right so let's go to the last pair so the last pair that we have is the usd are the usd are for the longest time we've been selling but we made it back to the we made it back to the major support zone right because if you look at this if you look at where we are now which is the market is there it was previously a a low basically and then we made we came there and after seeing this one two three candlestick that was a rejection so you know the price is about to go up so now the price is going up as i'm gonna show you in the h4 time frame the price is going up you feel me so i'm just gonna remove these two support zones and resistance zones just so you can see like what i'm trying to show you right now because i feel like that's gonna obscure you from the overall movement i want to show you so we've been going down ever since we retested this uh, sorry, resistance zone in the h4 and yeah we've been going down but we also had a trend line here and we recently broke out so that's the reason why you're seeing this by 0.25 right there right because it did break out obviously i'm gonna set the sl and the tp but the sl is gonna be somewhere here the sl is somewhere here just because i'm not willing to tolerate anything if the if this pay goes be back below the trend below the trend line that's enough risk for me so i'm gonna put my sl there you understand so now at the same time i don't expect the price to make it back to the resistance i'm only expecting it to make it back to at least somewhere along this zone because maybe we might retest the trend line who knows but i'm only gonna take my profit at this zone it's 0 0.25 so i'll make enough on the on the up run but i'm only willing to take my profit somewhere there you feel me because i don't have to wait for that extra i'm sure it's going to be a couple of hours if it does make it there ifm so oh, that's all i got for you guys today that's all the the the, the charts and the psychology psychological part of the market that we're gonna go through today listen man i have big plans for the for for the channel so if you see me not subscribing don't think i'm just lazy to not subscribe i'm just like plotting and doing all sorts of background things i need to prepare first before we go to the next level all right so listen thank you guys for watching if you're watching to this part till this part man i appreciate y'all i'm gonna see you guys on the next one all right peace out fam